So Bronya, Bronya, Bronya is here, has come and it's gone already. Just like that, we, we are done. <laughs> Anyways, how was your Christmas guys? I hope you guys had a lovely one. So I want to talk about my Christmas because um, I noticed something, you know, as we do, we scroll through our phones and we look at things. Ah, I've been seeing this girl sitting down singing. I'm just like, okay, cool. The next day I go through my phone. I see the same girl singing. Then the next minute I see people posting her here, there, left, right, center. I'm like, okay, what's actually going on? Like, what is this big thing? What's the focus about this girl? about singathon so it's basically a singing marathon a singing marathon and what i'm aiming at is the guinness world records record attempt for the longest singing marathon by an individual okay i'm attempting the record by an by an individual for the longest singing marathon and i'm doing this for a hundred and 17 or more hours because the current record holder did 105 hours in 2012 yes so this attempt is strictly for Ghanaian songs we are doing this for Ghan promoting Ghanaian songs from gospel high life hip life name it yes and we are doing it this December so for those who do not understand what singathon is it is simply a singing marathon and each song must not exceed two minutes each song that i'll sing must not exceed two minutes and you cannot repeat a song until the fourth hour right yeah let's do this as we speak right now as i'm talking to you right now she has beat a record and i'm just like whoa this girl's crazy. She actually did it. Honestly, like, I don't know what made her want to do it. I don't know why she's doing it. But listen, she's really, really, really done well. She's making Ghana look so good. The way she's also wearing the Guardian clothes. She's literally putting Ghana on the map. And it's just amazing to see what she's doing. So well done to you. Honestly, she's done something so amazing. And it's during the Christmas period. I think she started... On the 24th and i think tomorrow should be her last day which is friday and um, the 29th um i believe so but yeah she's just singing non-stop she's in a cubicle and it's like the atmosphere is amazing it's like a concert people are coming there to support her show her love um cheer her on because Charlie, the girl is tired like if you hear her voice like she's singing off tune like everything she she looks tired like Honestly, the way people have been praying for her. And then you showed me love. You filled my heart with love. That she's been able to do it because there was times where she was like, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. But to see all the celeb, like the Guardian celebrities coming out to support her, showing her love, encouraging her, it's so lovely to see. Like even Shatawale went on his knees and prayed for her. Um, people have been praying for, like honestly, like that's one thing I love about my people. Guardians, we know how to stick together, and we know we know God. We know God. When we need something, we come together and we pray. Like imagine the whole. It's not even just the whole Ghana, the whole world is watching her and praying for her, supporting her, giving her love. And she's done it. She has done the world. She has beaten the record. She has beaten the record as we speak. I think today is her fourth or fifth day. She's just been singing nonstop. But yeah. But all I just want to say is that you have made, if you are Asantua, you have made Ghana proud. We are proud of you. We love you. And we thank you for doing this because this is not easy. But yeah, you've made Ghana proud.